As you may be aware, there is kind of a push going on by a lot of Paradox YouTubers to bring back to life Imperator Rome, the kind of half-flopped uh, Roman era game. So uh, I saw that there was also uh, a nice sale on Steam, which by the way will continue until the 21st of March. Don't know exactly when I'll publish this video, but you might still have time to get in on that. I think the base game is 12 euros and for 18 euros... You have all DLC, don't know what that will be in dollars, a bit more, probably $15, $20. Anyway, I've never played this game before, I just started it up for the first time, so I think I'm just going to go ahead and play through the tutorial, and then we'll see uh, if we can figure out this game together. Why not? Beautiful loading screens, for sure. This must be the lighthouse in Alexandria. Okay. So, welcome to the tutorial. By completing a series of objectives, you will find at the top right side of the screen. We will introduce you to the basic principles behind playing Imperator Rome. Okay. You can complete the objectives in any order we choose. Alright, Roma Invicta, let's go. Um, during the tutorial, you will be playing as Rome. Surprise. The current date, which you can find in the top right corner of the screen, is the 1st October 450 ab urba condita, since the founding of the city. Yes, yes, yes. Rome has recently established local dominance and the stage is set for your expansion throughout the Italian region. For the purpose of this tutorial, we have taken care of a few matters for you. We will, however, teach you how to cover these areas over the course of the tutorial. Okay. Resources. Yeah, I think we can figure that out. Um... So let's see what we have here. We have a treasury, 500, what would it be? Denari? Ducats. I'm just going to call them ducats. EU4 YouTuber, yeah? Okay. Then we have some manpower. Not a lot. Um, political influence, which represents our network of contacts, leverage, and connections. Our influence is generated by our government officials representing their value to your government. A disloyal minister will provide less influence. Be careful to treat them well. Okay. It's used for a variety of actions that require flexing my political weight, okay. Military experience, I'm sure that's kind of uh, obvious. Stability, aggressive expansion, war exhaustion, tyranny, and support in the Senate. Okay, let's see here. We have a macro builder. Construct settlement buildings, construct city buildings, build ships and import trade goods okay so there's also a trade system it's kind of a weird mix between um victoria eu4 and crusader kings this game from what i know of it so this is the year of publius and publius we have uh publius sempronius sophus and publius sulpicius saverio two publii the consuls of course i don't know uh, how much you guys know about roman uh, history but uh Every year there's uh, two different consoles chosen. Economy. Okay, everything is in the middle. Shall we raise taxes immediately? No, I think we're fine. Religion. Okay, we have a holy site for Jupiter, I see. Culture. Hebrew, Roman. We're only 33% Roman, actually looks like decisions exemption from census tax found colony right to enter legal contracts right of inheritance okay cannot change the cultural rights of our primary culture okay let's leave that alone for now and then we have a trade overview it looks like we have some cloth Okay, it looks like it's an export of cloth. An export route multiplies the goods value of 0 0.35 by 100%. And this is then modified by ruler finesse. <laughs> Permitted requests. It's okay, we can kind of request to import something and then someone else can probably send it to us. We have surplus of iron wine and grain so can we wait a second um 
Um, how would I export something? Oh, this is a macro builder, right? Import trade goods. It's only importing. Hmm. Okay, well, we'll figure that out. Uh, military. Looks like we have three supply trains, 17 light infantry, five light cavalry, and eight heavy infantry in Italia. And we also had Magna Greca have uh, three light infantry and one light cavalry. These are levies. Okay. Can raise all here. We do not have the right laws to be able to recruit any legions. Okay. Ooh, we have a bunch of traditions. Okay. Roman traditions. Oh, military traditions. Okay. Heavy infantry offense, siege ability. Yeah, sounds about right. Movement speed, engineer costs. Yeah, sounds very, very Roman, all of that. What else do we have? Diplomacy. Oh, it looks like we have a bunch of subjects. We have Frentania over here. Pelignia. Nucaria. Where is Nucaria? A local power. Oh, it's this little place down here. Ah, it looks like I can access my diplomacy by right-clicking on my country, just like in EU4. Nice. And then we have this tiny little Marcia over here. Okay, where did my objectives go? Tutorial objectives, okay. Stabilize Rome. Perform a divine sacrifice. To increase stability, open the religion window and click on the perform divine sacrifice interaction. Stability trends towards 50. A stability value of less than this represents a nation getting closer to turmoil. Okay. Our stability is already ticking up, but let's go to the religion tab and click that button then. Let's see here. Oh, it's up here. Some of these buttons are kind of hard to uh, recognize as buttons. We have three treasures in our reliquary. And two extra ones can be found in owned provinces. Okay. Looks like we have a population of 399 pops, seven of which are not Hellenic. Okay. Okay, so this will give us... Now, it will cost a bunch of political influence. And it will give us monthly stability change plus 0 0.15 for five years. So, okay, let's click the button. So now I can click it, boom, and we gained 10 extra stability instantly. Very good, we now have 60 stability. Cool. Um, let's have another look at our government. Okay, so we have seats in the Senate. It looks like the optimates are in, uh, in charge. Under Publius Cornelius Barbatus. When your ruler belongs to this faction, you will be affected by the following modifiers. National noble output plus 12%. Okay, they looks like they each have a... Objective. For us to increase their approval. So, they want us to pass a law, the popularis, the bony want us to invest, to build a building, looks like, and they want us to give holdings to heads of families, okay? I don't know how to do that. Looks like these are offices, okay, laws. So which law did you want? You wanted Centuriate Assembly. So currently we have tribal assembly. The 35 tribes of the tribal assembly were composed of citizens residing in distinct geographic areas. It voted like the Curiates assembly. On matters legislative. Providing endorsement and authority on many decisions. And this would be...
the military arm of the Roman democratic system, the centuriate assembly was weighted by the material wealth of the soldiers of which it was comprised. Okay. Very elitist. So let's go ahead and see if we can pass that. It would cost us... 15 stability. As well as 35 political influence. And because we have less than 51% Senate support, we will gain a bit of tyranny. But it doesn't look like a lot. And it reduces every month anyway. So let's change that law. Boom. Okay. And now if we go back to government. Uh, oh, to... Uh, yeah. We probably have to wait a tick uh, before that completes. Let's see if there's any other of the tutorial objectives that we can instantly complete. Okay, this one. Invoke a deity. Each country has four deity slots. War, culture, economy and fertility. They recommend that we invoke Mars. Okay, so let's go to religion. That will give us 6.31 discipline for five years. So let's do that. I don't know if calling on is the same thing as invoking, but I'm going to assume it is. Good. Now we should be able to complete that. Very good. To war. We are ready for war. And uh, we also have to raise all levies, which will give us even more morale and discipline. I have the feeling we will get overpowered modifiers for the purpose of the tutorial. Um. Okay, let's first build a port. Um, let's go to the macro builder. A port. And let's build it in Capua, where they want us to. Very good. Now, obviously, we'll, uh, we will need to wait for that to finish constructing. 180 days. We also need to construct an aqueduct in Rome. So let's go ahead and do that. And it's a city building. In Rome. Costing us quite a bit of money. But that's all good, I think. Um, let's check out what the aqueduct even does. Population capacity. And the port gives... Also some population capacity. Migration attraction, pop migration speed, and ship recruitment speed. Okay. Interesting, interesting. Granaries seem nice as well. Okay. Okay, so we are building the port. We are building the aqueduct. Um, let's wait a bit with the ships. We can purchase an invention. <coughs> For this objective, you will need to open the technology window, which is over here. Oh, we haven't even looked at that yet. Oh, and characters as well. We forgot to look at these uh, final ones. So, martial, civic, oratory, and religious... Let's see if we can get a martial one. This one seems nice. So it costs one something. Innovation, okay. Okay, let's get that. Can we get more? Oh, we can get like eight, bro. Let's see, let's get more discipline. Biotin helmet. We don't have any heavy cavalry, so that's not useful. 
See if we can get some civic stuff as well. Right to be heard. National citizen output seems like it's a pretty uh, general modifier, so that's probably good. Oratory. Loyalty of characters and diplomatic reputation. And then religious. Monthly ruler popularity gain. I think I want... Oh, aggressive expansion impacts. Oh, I definitely want that. And I want the loyalty of characters. Uh huh. It's a bit hard to see everything sometimes. National tribesman, national slave, national freeman, and... Oh, yeah, because there's four categories, right? Citizens, freemen, tribesmen, and slaves. Let's have a look at our... Can we see somewhere how much of each category we have? Population overview? Let's also have a look at characters, by the way. Oh, yeah. So that's a lot of different people uh, with a lot of different stats. Let's see who our best martial guy is. Gaius Junius Babulcus. 50 years old. This guy's the governor of Magna Graecia. Also a great military man. Admiral of classes 2. Okay, cool. So what if we only filter by great families? Hmm. Researcher, Prefectus Militaris, Vulnerarius. Huh, okay. They all have positions of some description. This guy's 11. Researcher. Even with just sorting by great families, there is a lot of uh, stuff. What about ruler family? We are alone. This guy. Okay, well, interesting. Let's see. Uh, we can definitely complete this one now. We gain and one marshal, it looks like. Okay, and I think we're just gonna raise all levies. Uh, I know how to do that. Military levies raise all. So it looks like we have 16,000 men here, 2,000 over here. That should allow us to finish that. Excellent. Now Rome has an army befitting her stature. This time we make use of our new pot strength by declaring war on one of our neighbors. Okay, so we have to conquer the Sabini. They're right here. Sabini uh, have an interesting story behind them at one point in uh, early Roman history. Uh, Rome was basically running out of women. And they uh, went to steal women from the, from the Sabini. And it's called the the well I know know in Dutch but the the Sabinian Virgin theft I guess they basically organized some kind of festival and just took all their women so declare war we cannot start a war before the first of November four fifty so uh, that's in one month let's roll the time our buildings are also going to start building now let's also select all our armies and. Have him go over here. Interesting uh, sprite there with the wolf stuff. Led by Publius Sempronius Sophus. Which I think is us, right?
Hmm. Okay, nice. And uh, we uh, got the thing from the Popularis because we changed that law. So we gained 10 appro approval from them. And now it is November. Uh, so we should be able to declare war. No, we have no... Hmm, no claim or nothing. Influence. Covert action. Do we need to fabricate a claim? Yes. Okay. I just clicked a random province. Uh, our diplomat is going over there. Don't see where my diplomats are here. Let's wait a month. The they have an ally now. Hmm. Can we fabricate another claim on them? Oh no, we're working on it. Okay, so I guess our armies are just gonna stand there on the border, that's fine. This is the province of Picenum. And this is Tuskia. I don't remember which one we clicked. Ooh, the claim will actually take a long time. I'm going to disband my army again. Ah oh, no, it will take 24 months. Wait, but this finishes in March of 1452, so it's actually only one year. Okay, fine. Uh, we'll just uh, wait. We'll keep our armies raised. We're still making money, so... Looks good. Oh! Uh, it looks like Latium has low food supply, and there are unused trade routes in the capital. And we also have another new invention. Okay, let's get this one. Um, get another import route, I guess. Building costs, sure. That's all our uh, innovations gone. So, low food supply here. We are still building that aqueduct, but once it finishes, I might want to build something else. And probably a farming settlement. Let's build a farming settlement up here. Oh. Wait a second, what is this? Teanum Apulum. It's over here. This is the only place where we can build a farming settlement. Okay, weird. Settlement, settlement, city. Settlement, settlement. Requi uh, it requires a food producing trade good, so we cannot actually grow any food there. What about a granary then? Let's just increase food capacity. Academy. 
Hmm. Imports. Could import elephants, damn. Okay, well, let's try... Oh, free men, citizens. Okay, nobles. Food. Let's import some grain. And I have to click somewhere. Okay, Latium has a... What the fuck? Okay, so we can import from ourselves. Ah, oh, no, we cannot. Okay. Uh, not willing to give up their capital bond. We can import all the way from over there. But let's just import from uh, from Carthage, I guess. Okay, wait a second. Oh, we have just have a low supply, but it's growing. Okay, I think we're fine, actually, then. Let's just wait a bit. Yeah, let's just wait. See if the monthly tick... Yeah, it, it's going up. Okay, cool. In that case, I'll probably build a granary soon. I lose two corruption. Where can I see my corruption? It's at zero. Or I gain corruption. Hmm. <laughs> okay, I will not be corrupt. But he will lose some loyalty. Oh well. Disloyal characters, no risk of civil war. This guy is disloyal. Ah, that looks like he's the Pontifex Maximus, so the High Priest, yeah. Let's attempt to befriend him. Get everyone to be loyal. Um, I will happily invest some political power in that. Because that's something we have a lot of. Um, so he wants a wild beast. Okay, uh, let's just go for the tiger. It's a hundred ducats, but whatever. We didn't actually lose anything. Interestingly enough. Okay, it looks like we are suffering some attrition. Can I merge these armies? Cannot merge them from two different governorships. Let's put this one in a different province. More bribes. No. The recent work of plebeian jurist Gnaeus Flavius, his legis acciones or actions in law, is the first written account of the legal procedures of Rome. The importance of this work propelled him to the office of tribune of the plebs and garnered him wide populist support. The full extent and interpretation of our laws has until now been a verbal tradition of our judiciary and Flavius's attempt to codify parts of our legal procedures for a wider audience has not been wholly appreciated. Some patricians argue a public airing of our sacred laws by a, ple by a plebeian, no less, tr threatens their traditional prerogative over government positions and the laws of Rome, while the populists welcome greater rights and participation for the plebs. Okay, now I'm fine with that transparency. Let's go. The world is pretty huge. You can even play in India. 
interestingly enough. Ah, okay. Well, it appears we failed to befriend uh, the Pontifex Maximus, the head of the Cornelii family. Oh, well. Interesting. Okay. Duskia actually has low food supply. So, what if I import grain? Hmm. How do I fix this? The food supply. But I can't build there because of the trade good. That's fine. Just leave it be for now. Now there's a lot more map modes, it looks like. Let's look at trade goods. Oh god. Wood, grain, olives. You, you would say that olives are probably a food product, but it's probably made for use to make oil or something. Hemp, iron, livestock, furs, honey. Jesus. Base metals, iron. Oh my god, this island doesn't exist in EU4. If you click on something, it looks like the provinces are actually bigger. Hmm. The grain, yeah, there's not that much grain around. Hmm. Interesting. Uh, let's just go back to uh, political. Let's just get to this war, shall we? We're at 74%. That's pretty good. The Punic Menace. Long have our ancestors and senators mused upon the Carthaginian threat across the ocean. Recently, however, this threat has moved closer to home. As the city of excess extends insidious tendrils into the heartland of Sicilia. Whilst we have not always seen eye to eye, an envoy from Syracuse tells us of the likelihood of impending war in Sicily once again and begs our protection that all of Italia might be spared from the terror of foreign rule. Of course, we're going to protect the other Italians. Syracuse, of course, is here on Sicily. Okay, so now we have an alliance with Syracuse. Good. Mercantile stance, mercantile stance. What the hell does that mean? Duskia, how do I fix this? Oh, I can do stuff here. Oh, import. Okay, import from here. There's nothing I can import. Okay. No potential routes. Current trade imports. Zero of zero. Okay, so I need to get one. 
Entice business investments. Oké. Okay. Ah, it's gonna take a while. Oké. Okay. I think they'll run out of food before... Uh... Ooh, come inside it. Owning the territory of Nequium. We'll continue this. Okay. Okay, so cool. We found a comet. We gained some stability. And we gained a claim. Uh, can we see our claims on the map like we can in EU4? Is there a political map mode? New population. I want that. And diplomacy. Yes, there we go. Put that under there. And there was another one I saw. Trade routes. I probably want this, that one. So let's first check out population here for a second. And it's just population density, right? Oh, but we can't see how much we have. Okay. Okay, in the city of Roma, we have a couple slaves, but mostly citizens and free men. Okay, cool. Outside here, lots of free men. Okay, cool. Trade route map mode doesn't show anything because we don't have any. And diplomacy shows that we have a claim over here, or is that fortifications? I think it's probably our claims. Anyway, we should be able to declare war now and take Picanum. Yeah, Picanum. Okay. I hope, I really hope, that we can actually take the whole country just like an EU4. So uh, we're just going to go ahead and try it. Okay, confirm. We gain some more approval from the Popularis. We are currently at war. With Tiberius Antius. Okay, whatever. Let's all move into... Oh. This province. Let's see here. We are at war with quite a lot over there. How does it work? Do we siege? Oh yeah, we siege. 100% chance of success. Okay, good. That is occupied. Now, I say we go hunt down their armies first. Let's see here. Forest. I think that's fine. Not ideal, of course, but we do outnumber them a lot. And our subjects are also helping us. Okay, looks like the enemy is running. Let's go over here. Oh, they took some of our population. It is very likely that our side will win here. Okay, we completely wiped them off the map. Do we get our pops back then? Anything else we can put on the outliner here? No. I would like to see my population there, maybe. But I don't know. Okay, there we go. Um, looks like we have three war score. Oh, no. We're gonna have to go over there. Oh, now, let's see this place first. Uh, it's like EU4, minus 35%. No, I'm gonna have to go kill that army first, I think. And it also looks like the fort does block my um, path. Also, just like in EU4. Very good. They are moving into my lands, which I am uh, not appreciative of.
Let's go here. I don't want to cross a river on my way uh, into the battle. Looks like they're running. And so every time they siege down um, province, they take some of our population. Okay, let's just buy it back. We have plenty of money. Okay, uh, it's very likely that we will win there. Good. Okay, interesting. Okay, very interesting little battle screen here. They still have some heavy infantry and some light infantry. Okay, we lost about... What would it be? Almost... Or well, less than 2,000 men. Uh, they lost less. But we won. Now we lost 1,800. And oh, we killed 3,000. Wait a second. Oh, it's different uh, countries. Okay, cool. Okay, well, let's go occupy this again. Uh, let's send these 2,000. Oh, no, the other ones. Yeah, these guys back here to take that back. Very good. It looks like we got zero gold from that. Now we're going to take this province. We lost one battle, it looks like. We could call in Syracuse, but I think we're fine. Good, so our... Oh, we, we stole some stuff. Okay, good. I think it's time we move into enemy territory. This is a city. They're building a fortress, which will be finished later this year. And now it won't, because we're occupying it. Oh my god, what happened? Suddenly everything was... ...occupied all at once. Interesting. So can I negotiate a separate piece with you? Okay. We need to wait, basically. Food shortage. No, oh, this army has a lot of food. What? Where is this? Oh, okay. That's in uh, fucking Crete. A holy site was destroyed. Well, we don't appreciate that, do we? I think maybe this was all occupied when they took the fort here? I don't know. Looks like our allies are fighting and losing. Probably. Oh no, got some reinforcements in there. More is coming.
the governor of Campania, which is where? Down there, okay. Is a particularly weasel-like man, a fact that is making itself clear now more than ever. He has begun stirring up the people of his own governorate, perhaps hoping to challenge our rule. Unfortunately, he is well regarded in this locale. Hmm. Let's imprison him. Nah, let's not move against him. We'll just become corrupt. Okay, so this is going to be a close battle, actually. It looks like we won. 30% war score now. So what if we take all of it? Aggressive expansion. Okay, I think we can take a lot here. So let's try to do that. Uh, who else are we at war with again? Um... Hmm. I will do let the men roam freely here. Which means a levy will become loyal to Publius Sempronius Sophus. But I still think that's me, right? By the way, more than a year has passed. Why do I still have the same dude? Anyway... It's a bit hard to see all the occupations and stuff. But it's fine. Let's go over there. And have this guy go over there. Carthage seems like it would be fun to play as well. Let's import some stuff to our capital. Um, let's get something for each of the groups, right? Let's get some uh, precious metals. From Athens. Uh, let's get some um, base medals from... Oh, we'll earn us money as well. Uh, wherever. Not Etruria. That's it. Sicilia, whatever. We'll get some stone from... Not from Gallia, not Belgae. They are Hellenic, so I will do it from them. Get some dyes from... Right here in Italy. Let's get some... F well, what shall we get? Some uh, livestock from... Dalmatia. And some strategic resources. Hmm. Maybe we want some horses. From, say... 
Nah, whatever, Illyria. Good. We still have unused trade routes, of course. I could have nine. Mm, nah, it's fine for now. Okay, it looks like this is all occupied already now. So who else are we dealing with here? Um, let's see. These provinces over here. Okay, let's go get them. Looks like our allies are already gonna go in. It's not going very well for them. That's what they get for being a bit silly, I would say. Uh, let's wait with this guy. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, well, whatever. Okay, we're gonna lose there. Oh no, wait. Something weird happened. It's very uh, hard to see what's happening compared to EU. Like, where are they even? Okay, well, it looks like we have 100% war score. So let's try to sue for peace and just take everything. Right? 15 aggressive expansion. Um, can we also take money? No, it doesn't look like it. I guess in this game you take take money by looting or something? Anyway. Okay. We will become a regional power if we do this. Sure. <coughs> oh yeah. In a ramshackle farm on the outskirts of Narnia. Oh good. A great depression in the ground mars, mars the serene landscape. In the midst of this crater a great immovable rock lies dormant. It is unlike anything our advisors have seen, and a scribe mentions a near-forgotten prophecy of a message sent to our people by Jupiter himself. Within days, multitudes of people have flocked to see this unnatural edifice, many of them in fervent prayer. Truly, it seems that the prophecy was true, and that Rome was chosen by Jupiter to fulfill his bidding. Okay, Rock of Ages, good. Uh, every character in Sabinia will be put to death before the Turing Cross of Roma, okay. Okay. Well, we need to, to deal with their elite. Okay. Okay, we'll banish those of class and put the rest to the sword, I think, in all three. We have increased in rank and are now a regional power country instead of a local power, since we are now an independent country with at least 25 territories. The following special rules can be used, guarantee other countries, threaten war, and have alliances. Okay, we already had one, but fine. We also get a bunch of bonuses, monthly wages go up, provincial loyalty goes down. And the threshold for civil war is lowered. More mercs, less war score cost, diplomatic relations, integration speed, an extra import route. Okay. Interesting. Very interesting. Okay, so we grew a lot in that war, actually. Very interesting. Uh, is there a player map mode? Um, yes, there is. Let me put that uh, over there. Yeah, very nice. Oh, we also have this little piece of land over there. Okay, well, I think that's enough for first episode. Um, if you uh, are in the comments and you know... Uh, oh my god, pops are dying. You know how to solve some of the issues I've been having. Uh, do feel free to let me know how to fix them. I will probably uh, continue playing this uh, at a later date. I don't know if I'll continue with the tutorial or finish... Uh, or uh, start an actual game. Anyway, we'll uh, build a... Complete these missions really quickly. Navy maintenance, okay. 
Uh, aqueduct. Very nice. Capital import routes again. And conquer the Sabini. We did. So, um... The land of the Sabini will be unable to rebel for 10 years. And we get 200 political influence. Very nice. Ah, it's way over our max though. So we should have been using more probably. Anyway, uh, with that out of the way, thank you for watching. Do all the YouTube stuff. Like, subscribe, leave a comment. And see you in the next one. Peace out.